What's up, everyone? This is another episode. Squiggy Seven First Impressions. Let's put down the guitar here. Thank you for joining me, as always. Let's speed up our thing and jump right into it. Bop! Bubble Bobble! Oh my god, who doesn't love Bubble Bobble? It's a pretty good time, right? It's a classic. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you're about to. But if you have seen it, oh my god, does it bring me back? It really does. So let's find ourselves Bubble Bobble. Oh my god! Yeah, I must have played this game... I don't know if I ever had it. I I think it was just a ROM that I liked. I liked it because it's like, it's like a bunch of increasing levels. And you could just keep going along with it. I don't know, it gets a little harder each time, but I've definitely played this many times. So the goal here is to bobble your enemies with bubbles. So... Ah, God. Okay. So let's let's try this again. There we go. We bobble them up, and then we just hit them out of there. Looks good. They're all good now. I'm pretty sure they're good. Where did my sound go? I would like to hear you sound. Thank you. Oh, we gotta collect the little fruits too before time runs out. Yeah, and then see, we get another stage, and this just keeps fucking going like this. Complete with sweet tunes. <laughs> tomatoes to collect. It's just one of those games. It's simple, and it's fun. You know what I mean? It's really, like, there's not much to it. There's, like, different types of enemies that'll start popping up, but it's always, like, this little one screen. Here's what you do. Collect some fruits. Advance. The bubble mechanic's really simple. You just, uh, they shoot forward, and they pretty much, if they connect with anyone, they fuck up their day. All you have to do is jump into them and knock them out afterwards. I believe if you... Oh, man. Quick draw McGraw, I missed. So, um... I believe if you leave them the bubble for too long, they'll pop out and be free again. Um... But that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> it's really... I don't know why. I, this one in particular, I always liked. Oh! Beep! Wow, that was close. There's just something about the game. It's simple and fun. Game over. Boo. Alright, let's try this again. This time with failing. I know I can do better than that. I'm just getting warmed up for the day here. Nice. When I was a kid, I used to play it with save states, though. So that... Oh my god. Hold on. We're starting over. We're not fucking going into this with no lives here. Yep, come on. Let's go. Now is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let us make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's pop all you. I tried the same strategy, but I thought, like, this time I'd be on my guard and be able to do it. Nope. Nah, I don't... I'm, let's leave this one for a minute and see what happens. See if he breaks free. I'm not really sure about that, but, I mean, I might as well get the mechanics explained for all you out there. Maybe he just sits there forever? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't look like he's breaking free. How many of these can I put on the screen? Weird. So that's just a way to farm points, I suppose, is just blowing bubbles and breaking them for those martini glasses? I don't know why those martini glasses chose to appear right there. That was kind of strange. Did I just hop off that thing, a little bubble hop? It's been so long. I'm so happy to play this again. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you can kind of climb off the bubble and hop if you hold the jump button. Yeah, you can. Well, wouldn't you know? Does that mean I can just sit on a bubble and kind of float upwards if I shoot one? Nope. It does not. <laughs> okay. No! Oh, I felt the, the worst speed. Like, there's no dodge in that. I wonder, can you fall in the pits? There's a question for you. I really would not like to restart here, but you can. So that's good to know. We got a little loop-to-loop -loop action going on. Is that a pumpkin? I also have no idea what the D does. What would we be spelling that has a D in it? That's my first thing, is I'm thinking it might be something you have to spell. Those was McDonald's fries! With a W instead of an M? 
They certainly look like them. <laughs> Weird choice, but there you go. I don't... Oh, you can just jump off bubbles. That's just how it works. Let's see what we got here. What would we possibly be spelling? I really want to get more letters now. That's the great mystery of the game right there. I guess that's the end goal, is to figure out what the fuck you're spelling. Uh, so, you may have heard me in the past talk about how I don't really like puzzle games. Or, um, these arcade-style games. Not really, it's not puzzle games that I don't like. I actually really do like puzzle games. I meant to say arcade-style games. And this, same for the same reason, I don't like this in certain ways. Because the gameplay is repetitive. You know what you're going to get all the time. You're not really going to get blown out of the water at any point. But um, when done well, I do enjoy them. When I feel like it has at least enough variety in the gameplay to keep it interesting and enough challenge and the controls are good, stuff like that, I don't mind playing it over and over. But something that's more simple, like um, Donkey Kong, for example. I'm not a big fan of the original Donkey Kongs where you have to... Um, just, you get three levels and you walk up those things and everything is the same pretty much every time you play it. Besides, like, some randomness in the way that certain things... The X makes it even more confusing, but yeah, besides, like, a little bit of randomness, it's the same every time and there's not much to it. This is exactly the same every time, I guess, but it's, the mechanics are just better. The controls are better, it's like, the one thing they're doing over and over is better, so I feel like it can last longer. Hey, we get a little ASCII art. Not ASCII art, uh, pixel art. I don't... I guess it's supposed to be these ghosty guys, but... There we go, that was tricky. Kind of flooded me there. This is gonna be scary. Gotcha, haha! <laughs> see him get better. Let's see if we can get up there. I believe they made a sequel to this game at some point, Bubble Ball 2. If I'm not mistaken, it's one of those really hard to find games for the NES. But, um. Actually, Bubble Bubble 1's probably gonna be expensive too. We got some whales in the picture now. I remember them. Um. What the f fuck? Well, let's get these letters and see what we get. Wait. Am I spelling Nintendo, but with an X in it? <laughs> or extend? Okay. Probably extend. Maybe that's how I get a new life. I extend my lives. I don't know. That's my best guess, folks. What happens if you just keep critical massing your bubbles here? Why can I have so many sprites? That's ridiculous. So yeah, like I said, very nice game. You can pretty much, you, you see everything you're getting probably so far. I have not beaten it myself. I don't know how far I got as a kid, but it's a lot more of this. Like, hey, this is like a little Space Invaders thing. I didn't even get that at first. See where I'm standing on the spaceship, they got the little blocks down here. It looks like in the middle is the shooter. That's fucking pretty cool. <laughs> so you get... Oh. That's not good. Is that for the whole game, or is that just to beat this this level I need to hurry? Where is the timer? I don't even see a timer on the screen, so maybe it's just a... It might be a global timer, and I might be screwed soon. Damn it. B, G, 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 B. Let's go to password. B. G. 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 B. There we go. Now we can start off where we left off. I guess I didn't need to use save states. Oh, shit, yeah I did. We're back at the beginning. That's probably for the best anyways. I'm really trying to keep these two seven minute first impressions. So it's best that I cut it off here anyways. I could get wrapped up and play Bubble Bobble for much longer than should be. Anyways, you get it. I like it personally. So I, I got a little special place in my heart for this one. So we're um, gonna look up the price though to see 
what it's worth on eBay right now. Sorry about the, if I just lagged you out a little bit. Whenever I bring up Chrome for the first time and I'm recording, it fucks shit up. <laughs> Bubble Bobble NES, yeah, I'm really, I'm tanking it. I don't know what it is. It's Chrome in particular that just my, uh, my computer can't handle while recording. Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna do this part quicker. Um... We'll sort for price and shipping lowest. Buy it now. So if we wanted to get a copy of this sent to our door right now, 19 bucks. Now I knew it was going to be on the higher side of cheap. Like it's not like a $5 game or anything like that because of its popularity. It's uh, one of those cult classics. So I'm not too disappointed with the $20 price. Actually, let's check out Bubble Bubble 2 so I can see if I was right in it being one of the Nest Gems. Bubble Bobble 2, authentic, tested, rare, $400 is the cheapest one for Buy It Now. Now that's a very fucking broad price, because I'm just looking at the Buy It Now right now. That's available on eBay. Could be up from that, but um, I, or down from that rather. But still, 400 bucks is pretty, pretty high. So yeah, I guess it came out late in the system and uh, just ended up being rare because no one bought it. But anyways, I'm going to give this game a solid 3. Which is, uh, for those that don't know, rating system is 0 0.5 to 5. 5 would be, like, ultimate 0 0.5, like, unplayable. So 2.5 is the average game I want in my collection. 3, I would go out of my way to find this. I'm not in a huge rush, though. Like, I would rather have something like a, cl even like a classic Mega Man or something like that over this. Just because it's, uh... It's just more... It's, it's very samey. It's samey and simple, but in this case, I like it, which I've said. I'm, I'm repeating myself now. You guys know what I liked about it. So, um, I'm glad you joined me for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squeeze 7 First Impressions, and I hope to see you all next time, friends. Take it easy.